So I'm heading to the Petrified National Forest and I decided to stop at something called the Ice Caves. It's an ice cave on one side and a volcano on the other, separated by the Continental Divide. I cannot wait. All right, so this right here is actually a natural ice box. In the early days, this little cave right here used to have ice down in the bottom of it. And it was used as a refrigerator for the original owners of this land before there was a refrigerator. These rocks are actually volcanic rock and they come from when lava used to flow through here. These trees that are twisted, uh, it's because they have a hard time growing through the lava and so they twist and turn and they can't get deep roots. Super, super interesting. So now I'm gonna go into the ice cave where the temperature never gets above 31 degrees. Uh, it says as the rainwater and snow melts, it goes into the cave and the ice floor just thickens. Let's check this out. It's noticeably cooler down here. For a side note, it's about uh, 90 degrees right now. Wow, it is so cold down here and so quiet. I'm just not going to talk anymore and just let you take it in with me. All right, I'm going to talk a little bit. It is crazy cold. Holy crap. So as you can see, all this ice is basically because of the way the cave is shaped and then the way that the lava has fallen. So this is all ice. And again, it's from when rain falls down here or snow melts, it all just comes down here and stays frozen due to the fact that this cave kind of creates a little nice area for it. Wow. <sighs> all right, I'm winded, so sorry, but this is called Volcano Land. There's actually 29 volcanoes around this area. From here, you can see 15 of them. Uh, let's see. So that is Bandera's twin right there. And then that's another volcano out there. They look like small mountains, but they're actually all volcanoes that at one point were active. And here is the proof with the lava rock. Alright, this right here is called the Devil's Playground. The reason it's called that is because when this, uh, when this volcano formed, what happened was there was pressure in the earth and it shot up lava, which then fell back down and uh, created these coned peaks. But specifically this means, this uh, little area here shows that when the volcano first formed, the lava was shooting out of the sides and it literally created this sort of like road slash valley area. It's very good hideout for rattlesnakes but what's crazy is it shows that whenever this formed and erupted, it was extremely violent. So this is Bandera Crater Lookout Point. It is the largest volcano in the region and it erupted around 10,000 years ago. They say there were two stages of the eruption. The first one was the cinder cone development. That was the thing I was telling you about earlier where the rock shot up and came back down and made a cone. And then there was a second stage uh, basically where this erupted, this crater right here, which is about, what's it say, 1,400 feet down. Uh, this all used to be lava, and this all was shooting out about 10,000 years ago. And there's still clear evidence of it all, lava everywhere. It's amazing.
Hey, bro. This Whole Foods pizza is hitting. And this rude fireplace. Is that the moon? Oh, that's the moon on my bed. On my king size bed. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah.